Names hold a profound significance in the tapestry of human existence. They are not mere labels, but rather they carry weight, history, and meaning. In the grand narrative of the Bible, names take on an even deeper resonance. They become intertwined with destiny, reflecting the very essence of individuals and their roles in God's unfolding plan. From the first whispers of creation in Genesis to the echoes of faith that resonate today, biblical names offer a captivating glimpse into the lives of those who have shaped our spiritual heritage. Each name in the Bible, often bestowed by God himself, carries a story, a prophecy, or a glimpse into the character of the individual. Adam, meaning man, speaks to the very foundation of humanity, while Eve, meaning life, embodies the continuation of that lineage. These names, simple yet profound, set the stage for the epic journey of faith that unfolds throughout the biblical narrative. As we delve into the intricate world of biblical names, we embark on a captivating exploration of history, faith and the enduring power of words. Through these names we gain a deeper understanding of the characters, their motivations and the timeless messages embedded within their stories. Join us now as we journey through the pages of the Bible, uncovering the hidden meanings and enduring legacies held within each name. Our exploration of biblical names will transport us across centuries, from the Garden of Eden to the bustling streets of Jerusalem. We will witness the rise and fall of empires, the trials and triumphs of God's chosen people, and the unwavering faith that guided them through it all. Through each era, the names of key figures will serve as guideposts, illuminating the path and deepening our understanding of the events that shaped our world. We will begin our journey with the patriarchs, the founding fathers of faith, whose names, like Abraham and Isaac, resonate with promise and covenant. Their stories lay the foundation for the nation of Israel, a people chosen by God to carry his message to the world. From the exodus from Egypt, led by the prophet Moses, to the establishment of the monarchy under King David, we will witness the unfolding of God's plan for his people. As we progress through the pages of the Old Testament, we will encounter prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah, whose names are synonymous with pronouncements of both judgment and hope. Their messages, often delivered in times of turmoil and uncertainty, remind us of God's unwavering faithfulness and his call to repentance and righteousness. Beyond their historical context, biblical names hold layers of meaning that enrich our understanding of the text. They often reflect the character, destiny, or role of the individual bearing the name. Jacob, whose name means he grasps the heel, foreshadows his cunning nature and his struggle for power within his family. Similarly, the name David, meaning beloved, speaks to his close relationship with God and his enduring legacy as a righteous king. By delving into the etymology and cultural significance of these names, we gain a deeper appreciation for the nuances of the biblical narrative. We begin to see how each name, carefully chosen and often divinely inspired, contributes to the richness and depth of the text. The story of the Bible is not merely a collection of tales, but rather a tapestry woven together with intricate detail where even the names of the characters play a vital role. As we embark on this journey of discovery, let us approach the Bible with open hearts and minds, eager to uncover the hidden meanings and timeless messages embedded within its pages. Through exploring the epic journey of biblical names, we will gain a deeper understanding of our faith, our history, and the enduring power of God's Word. Our journey commences in the idyllic Garden of Eden, where the first whispers of humanity echoed through the newly formed world. Adam, a name derived from the Hebrew word for man, was the first human, formed by God from the dust of the earth. My name, simple yet profound, speaks to the very essence of our being, reminding us that we are intrinsically connected to the earth from which we came. Eve, whose name means life, was created as Adam's companion, a testament to the divine design for relationship and the continuation of life. Together, Adam and I lived in harmony with God and all of creation. The Garden of Eden, a paradise of abundance and beauty, served as a testament to God's love and provision for his creation. 
Their names, Adam and Eve, represent the foundation upon which humanity was built, man and woman created in God's image, destined to be stewards of his creation. Their story, though marked by the tragedy of their fall from grace, serves as a reminder of our inherent goodness and our capacity for relationship with both God and one another. As we reflect on these primordial names, we are reminded of the sanctity of life, the beauty of creation, and the profound responsibility entrusted to humanity as caretakers of God's world. Adam and Eve's story serves as both a beginning and a cautionary tale, reminding us of the consequences of disobedience and the enduring hope for redemption that underpins the human experience. Their legacy echoes through the ages, shaping our understanding of ourselves, our relationship with God and our place in the grand tapestry of creation. With the arrival of Adam and Eve's children, the narrative takes a somber turn. Cain, whose name means acquired or possessed, embodies the darker impulses of the human heart. Driven by jealousy and rage, he commits the first murder, slaying his own brother, Abel. Abel, whose name signifies breath or transience, represents the fragility of life and the devastating consequences of sin, yet even in the aftermath of this tragedy, hope flickers. Seth, whose name means appointed or granted, is born to Adam and Eve, becoming a symbol of God's faithfulness and his enduring promise to redeem fallen humanity. Seth's birth represents a new beginning, a chance for humanity to chart a different course, guided by righteousness and obedience to God's will. The story of Cain and Abel serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked sin and the ever-present battle between good and evil that rages within the human heart. However, the birth of Seth offers a glimmer of hope, a testament to God's unwavering love and his desire for reconciliation with his creation. Through Seth, the lineage of faith is preserved, paving the way for generations to come who would seek to walk in God's ways and fulfill his divine purpose. As humanity journeyed beyond the Garden of Eden, the names of their descendants continued to reflect the hopes, struggles and aspirations of a people grappling with their place in a world increasingly distant from God's presence. Enosh, whose name means mortal or frail, serves as a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the inevitability of death. Kenan, meaning possession or acquisition, reflects humanity's growing desire for control and dominion over the world around them. His name hints at the complexities of human nature, our capacity for both innovation and greed, our yearning for progress intertwined with a tendency towards self-preservation and the accumulation of wealth. Mahalalel, whose name signifies praise of God, emerges as a beacon of faith in a world seemingly consumed by darkness and despair. His name serves as a reminder that even in the midst of hardship and uncertainty, the human spirit retains its capacity for worship and connection with the divine. Jared, meaning descent, alludes to the downward spiral of humanity as they stray further from God's intended path. The flood marked a turning point in biblical history, a cleansing of the earth and a fresh start for humanity. Noah, whose name embodied the very essence of rest and comfort, emerged from the ark with his three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth. Their names, imbued with profound significance, foreshadowed the destinies of their descendants and the diverse tapestry of nations that would spring forth from their lineage. Shem meaning name or renown, became the progenitor of the Semitic people, a lineage that would later give rise to Abraham and the nation of Israel. His name, echoing with the weight of legacy and inheritance, speaks to the enduring power of faith and the transmission of God's promises across generations. Ham, whose name signifies hot or burnt, became the ancestor of nations associated with Africa, a continent rich in cultural heritage and spiritual depth. His name, often interpreted as a reference to the sun-drenched land his descendants would inhabit, represents the diversity and vastness of God's creation. Japheth, meaning enlarged or expanded, became the father of nations linked to Europe and parts of Asia. His name, suggestive of growth and expansion, foreshadows the spread of humanity across the globe and the flourishing of diverse cultures and civilizations. The sons of Noah, each bearing a name laden with meaning, embarked on their respective journeys, carrying with them the hope for a world renewed and the promise of God's continued presence among his people. 
Their stories, intertwined with threads of migration, settlement and the establishment of new communities, remind us that even in the aftermath of devastation, the human spirit possesses an unyielding capacity for resilience, adaptation and the pursuit of a brighter future. Section 2, The Call of Abram, A Journey of Faith Generations after the flood, a man named Abram emerged as a pivotal figure in God's unfolding plan for humanity. His name, meaning exalted father, hinted at the greatness that lay ahead, but it was his unwavering faith and obedience to God's call that would truly define his legacy. Summoned by God to leave his homeland and embark on a journey to an unknown land, Abram's story is a testament to the transformative power of faith and the boundless possibilities that unfold when we surrender to the divine will. Accompanied by his wife Sarai, whose name means my princess, Abram set out for the land of Canaan, a land promised by God to his descendants. Their journey was fraught with challenges and uncertainties, testing their faith and resilience at every turn. Yet through it all, Abram remained steadfast, clinging to God's promises and trusting in his guidance. Along their arduous journey, God appeared to Abram, reaffirming his covenant and changing his name to Abraham, meaning father of a multitude. This name change signified a profound shift in Abraham's destiny, transforming him from an exalted father to the patriarch of a nation yet to be born. Sarai's name was also changed to Sarah, meaning princess, a subtle yet significant alteration that elevated her status and foreshadowed her pivotal role as the mother of nations. Together, Abraham and Sarah, their names now imbued with divine promise, stood on the cusp of a new era, their lives forever intertwined with the unfolding story of God's chosen people. Section 3, a covenant sealed the patriarchs and their legacy. Abraham's nephew Lot, whose name means veil or covering, joined them on their journey, his presence representing the hidden challenges and moral complexities that would test their faith along the way. Despite facing trials and temptations, Abraham remained faithful, his unwavering belief in God's promises serving as a beacon of hope for generations to come. The birth of Isaac, whose name means laughter or he laughs, brought immense joy to Abraham and Sarah, fulfilling God's promise and solidifying the covenant between God and his chosen people. Isaac's name reflecting the laughter of both disbelief and delight that accompanied his miraculous birth became a symbol of God's faithfulness and his ability to bring forth life and hope even in the most unlikely of circumstances. Abraham's second son Ishmael, born to Sarah's maidservant Hagar, also received God's blessing, destined to become the father of a great nation. His name, meaning God hears, serves as a reminder that even in the midst of human frailty and complex family dynamics, God is attentive to the cries of his people and works through all circumstances to fulfill his divine purposes. The patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, each bearing names etched with meaning and purpose, laid the foundation for the nation of Israel, a people chosen by God to carry his blessings to the world. Their stories, woven into the very fabric of biblical history, remind us that faith is a journey marked by both trials and triumphs, and that it is through our unwavering trust in God's promises that we discover our true purpose and leave an enduring legacy for generations to come. Section 1. The Matriarchs Leah and Rachel The story of Israel's formation takes a deeply personal turn with the arrival of two sisters, Leah and Rachel, whose lives and loves would shape the destiny of a nation. Leah, whose name carries the weight of weariness or exhaustion, entered the narrative as the elder daughter of Laban, a man both shrewd and opportunistic. Her story, often overshadowed by that of her younger sister, speaks to the quiet strength and resilience of a woman navigating the complexities of family, marriage and motherhood in a patriarchal society. Rachel, whose name evokes the imagery of a ewe or lamb, possessed a beauty that captivated Jacob, the son of Isaac. Her story, intertwined with themes of love, rivalry and longing, reveals the depth of human emotion and the profound impact of relationships on the course of history. Leah's marriage to Jacob, orchestrated through a cunning deception, set in motion a chain of events that would test the bonds of family and shape the future of their descendants. 
Despite the bitterness and heartache that arose from the rivalry between the sisters, God, in his infinite wisdom and compassion, bestowed upon both Leah and Rachel the gift of motherhood. Their sons, twelve in all, would become the progenitors of the twelve tribes of Israel, their names forever etched in the annals of biblical history. Leah, often perceived as the less favoured wife, found solace and strength in her role as a mother, her sons becoming a source of pride and fulfilment. Rachel, though initially barren, experienced the joy of motherhood later in life, her sons Joseph and Benjamin holding a special place in her heart. Section 2, the sons of Jacob, pillars of a nation, from the unions of Jacob with Leah, Rachel, and their maidservants, Bilhah and Zilpah, emerged twelve sons, each bearing a name imbued with prophetic significance. Reuben, Leah's firstborn, whose name signifies Behold a Son, embodied the hope and promise that accompanied his birth. His arrival, a testament to God's faithfulness to Leah, marked the beginning of a new chapter in the unfolding saga of Jacob's family. Simeon, whose name means heard or heeded, reflected Leah's belief that God had heard her prayers and acknowledged her plight. His birth, a testament to the power of prayer and the importance of seeking divine intervention, solidified Leah's place within the family. Levi, whose name speaks to the concept of joining or attachment, symbolized the importance of unity and the enduring bonds of family. Judah, whose name means praise or thanksgiving, represented Leah's heartfelt gratitude to God for his blessings. His birth, a testament to the transformative power of gratitude, marked a turning point in Leah's life, shifting her focus from rivalry and resentment to acceptance and appreciation for the gifts bestowed upon her. These four sons, born to Leah, formed the foundation upon which the twelve tribes of Israel would be built. Their names forever linked to the origins of a nation chosen by God to carry his blessings to the world. Section 3, Tribes of Destiny, a Tapestry of Names. The remaining eight sons of Jacob, each born to either Rachel, Bilhah, or Zilpah, added further depth and complexity to the tapestry of names that would define the 12 tribes of Israel. Dan, whose name evokes the imagery of a judge or ruler, emerged as a symbol of justice and leadership. His birth, a testament to Rachel's longing for recognition and her desire to be seen as a mother worthy of respect, foreshadowed the emergence of leaders and judges who would guide the Israelites in the centuries to come. Naphtali, whose name reflects the struggles and wrestlings of his mother, Rachel, symbolized the challenges and triumphs that lay ahead for his descendants. His birth, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of perseverance, served as a reminder that even in the midst of adversity, hope and victory are always within reach. Gad, whose name signifies fortune or good luck, represented the blessings and prosperity that would follow his descendants. Asher, whose name evokes feelings of happiness and contentment, symbolized the joy and fulfillment that would characterize the lives of his descendants. These four sons, born to Rachel, Bilhah, and Zilpah, added further depth and richness to the tapestry of names that would define the 12 tribes of Israel, their stories interwoven with themes of justice, resilience, prosperity, and joy. Section 1, Under the Yoke of Pharaoh. Centuries passed and the descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, now a multitude known as the Israelites, found themselves residing in Egypt. What began as a refuge from famine had transformed into a period of harsh servitude under the rule of a new Pharaoh who knew not Joseph. The Egyptians, threatened by the burgeoning Israelite population, subjected them to forced labor, their lives burdened by toil and oppression. Yet, even in the depths of their despair, the embers of hope, passed down through generations, refused to be extinguished. It was during this time of profound suffering that a man named Moses emerged, destined to become the deliverer of his people. His name, derived from the Hebrew word for drawn out, foreshadowed his pivotal role in leading the Israelites out of bondage and into a new era of freedom and divine favor. Moses' early life, marked by both privilege and peril, prepared him for the daunting task that lay ahead. Raised in the Pharaoh's court, 
he gained first-hand knowledge of Egyptian power and customs, while his Hebrew heritage instilled within him a deep sense of empathy for his people's plight. When God called upon Moses to confront Pharaoh and demand the release of the Israelites, it was a call to courage, to unwavering faith, and to a radical trust in the power of the divine. Moses, acutely aware of his own limitations, initially hesitated, questioning his ability to fulfill such a momentous task. Yet God, in his infinite wisdom, assured Moses of his constant presence and unwavering support, promising to equip him with the strength and authority necessary to confront the might of Egypt. Section 2, From Egypt to the Promised Land. The Exodus, a testament to God's power and faithfulness, unfolded through a series of awe-inspiring plagues that brought Egypt to its knees. Each plague, a demonstration of God's sovereignty over creation, served to break Pharaoh's stubborn resistance and pave the way for the Israelites' liberation. With each act of divine intervention, the Israelites' faith in God's promises grew stronger. Their hopes for a future free from oppression rekindled. The parting of the Red Sea, a miraculous event that allowed the Israelites to escape Pharaoh's pursuing army, stands as a defining moment in their history. This awe-inspiring display of God's power, forever etched in the annals of their collective memory, served as a constant reminder of their miraculous deliverance and their enduring covenant with the Almighty. Led by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, the Israelites embarked on a journey through the wilderness, their destination the land promised to their forefathers, a land flowing with milk and honey. The wilderness journey, though fraught with challenges and temptations, proved to be a transformative period for the Israelites. It was in the desolate wilderness that they received the law from God, a set of commandments designed to guide their lives and shape their identity as a people set apart for His purposes. It was in the wilderness that they learned to rely on God's provision, their daily sustenance provided through the miraculous appearance of manna and quail. And it was in the wilderness that their faith was tested, their loyalty to God challenged by the allure of idolatry and the temptations of the flesh. Through it all, God remained faithful, his presence a constant source of comfort and guidance. As the Israelites neared the end of their wilderness journey, a new leader emerged, chosen by God to lead them into the Promised Land. Joshua, whose name means the Lord is salvation, embodied the hope and victory that awaited the Israelites as they prepared to claim their inheritance. Joshua, a man of courage, faith, and unwavering obedience to God's commands, was uniquely equipped to lead the Israelites in the battles that lay ahead. Under his leadership, they would conquer powerful enemies, overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles, and establish themselves as a force to be reckoned with in the land of Canaan. As the Israelites established their presence in Canaan, a desire for a more centralized form of leadership emerged. They yearned for a king, someone to unite the tribes and lead them in battle against their enemies. This desire for a human monarch, though understandable in the context of their time, represented a departure from their earlier reliance on God as their sole ruler. It was in this context that Saul, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, was chosen as the first king of Israel. His name, meaning asked for or desired, reflected the people's longing for a visible leader. Saul, a man of imposing stature and military prowess, initially seemed well suited for the task. He led the Israelites to victory in several battles, securing their borders and instilling a sense of national pride. However, Saul's reign was ultimately marked by disobedience to God, his heart gradually hardening as he allowed pride and jealousy to take root. God, in his wisdom, chose a new king, a young shepherd named David, whose name means beloved, to lead his people. David, known for his courage, piety, and skill as a musician, embodied the qualities of a righteous king. He famously defeated the Philistine giant, Goliath, with a single stone, a testament to his unwavering faith in God's power. David's rise to prominence marked a turning point in Israel's history. He united the 12 tribes, established Jerusalem as the capital city, and oversaw a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity. David's reign, though marked by both triumph and tragedy, became the gold standard against which future kings of Israel would be measured. His life and legacy, immortalized in psalms and stories, served as a powerful reminder that true leadership stemmed from a deep and abiding relationship with God.
Following David's death, his son Solomon ascended to the throne. Solomon, whose name means peace, was renowned for his wisdom, wealth, and the splendor of his court. He expanded Israel's borders, forged alliances with neighboring kingdoms, and oversaw a period of unprecedented economic growth. One of Solomon's most enduring legacies was the construction of the temple in Jerusalem, a magnificent structure designed to serve as the dwelling place of God and the center of Israelite worship. The temple's construction, a testament to Solomon's wealth and architectural ambition, solidified Jerusalem's status as the religious and political heart of the kingdom. However, despite his many accomplishments, Solomon's reign was also marked by a gradual decline in spiritual faithfulness. He allowed the accumulation of wealth and power to overshadow his devotion to God, and his indulgence in foreign wives and their deities led to the introduction of idolatry within Israel. Upon Solomon's death, the kingdom, weakened by internal divisions and spiritual decay, fractured into two entities, Israel in the north and Judah in the south. This division, a tragic consequence of Solomon's straying from God's ways, marked the beginning of a tumultuous period in Israel's history, one characterized by rivalry, conflict, and ultimately the loss of their independence. The story of Israel's monarchy, from its hopeful beginnings under Saul to its division under Solomon's successors, serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that even the most promising of leaders can falter when they stray from God's path. It underscores the importance of humility, obedience, and a steadfast commitment to seeking God's guidance in all matters of leadership and governance. The legacy of Saul, David, and Solomon continues to resonate today, reminding us that true leadership is not merely about power or prestige, but about serving others, upholding justice, and remaining faithful to the one true God. The division of Israel set the stage for a tumultuous period marked by political instability, spiritual decline, and ultimately, exile. The northern kingdom, plagued by idolatry and corruption, fell to the Assyrian Empire in 722 BC. The southern kingdom, Judah, though granted a reprieve, eventually succumbed to the burgeoning Babylonian Empire. The Babylonian exile, a period of profound upheaval and displacement, became a defining moment in Jewish history, forcing the Israelites to confront the consequences of their straying from God's covenant. Amidst the chaos and despair of exile, God raised up prophets, their voices echoing through the ruins of Jerusalem, carrying messages of both judgment and hope. Jeremiah, whose name means the Lord exalts or the Lord establishes, became the voice of conscience for a nation on the brink of collapse. His prophecies, often delivered with tears and lamentations, warned of the impending destruction if the people did not repent of their wickedness and return to God. Jeremiah's words, though difficult to hear, served as a necessary wake-up call, reminding the Israelites that their actions had consequences and that their God, though patient and merciful, would not tolerate their continued rebellion indefinitely. His prophecies recorded in the book that bears his name stand as a testament to the enduring power of God's word even in the darkest of times. Kissed. While Jeremiah's prophecies painted a bleak picture of judgment, they also contained glimmers of hope, promises of restoration and renewal for those who remained faithful to God's covenant. Ezekiel, whose name means God strengthens or God will strengthen, emerged as a prophet of hope during the exile, his visions offering comfort and reassurance to a people longing for home. Ezekiel's visions, often symbolic and filled with vivid imagery, conveyed God's unwavering love for his people and his promise to one day restore them to their land. He spoke of a future time when the dry bones of Israel would be resurrected, their nation rebuilt, and their relationship with God renewed. After 70 years of exile, as prophesied by Jeremiah, the Babylonian Empire fell to the Persians, led by Cyrus the Great. Cyrus, influenced by God's divine plan, issued a decree allowing the exiled Jews to return to Jerusalem and rebuild their temple. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in Jewish history, a time of rebuilding and spiritual renewal. Leaders like Zerubbabel, a descendant of King David, and Nehemiah, whose name means the Lord Comforts, emerged to guide the returning exiles in the monumental task of restoring their homeland. Nehemiah, a man of deep faith and unwavering determination, oversaw the rebuilding of Jerusalem's walls, a symbol of their renewed strength and security. 
The return from exile, though challenging and fraught with obstacles, demonstrated the resilience of the human spirit and the faithfulness of God to his promises. It served as a powerful reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope endures and God's plans for his people will ultimately prevail. Centuries after the return from exile, a profound shift occurred in the spiritual landscape of the world. A child named Jesus, born in humble circumstances in Bethlehem, would forever alter the course of human history. His name, a Greek rendering of the Hebrew name Yeshua, meaning the Lord saves or the Lord is salvation, encapsulated the very essence of his mission on earth to redeem humanity from sin and reconcile them to God. Jesus' birth, heralded by angels and anticipated for generations by prophets, marked the dawn of a new era, the fulfillment of God's ancient promises to his people. His mother, Mary, a young woman of unwavering faith and deep devotion, played a pivotal role in God's plan, her name, meaning beloved or bitter, reflecting both the joy and sorrow that would mark her life as the mother of the Messiah. Joseph, her betrothed, a man of noble character and steadfast obedience to God, provided a loving and stable home for Jesus, his name, meaning he will add foreshadowing his role as Jesus' earthly protector and provider. From his early childhood, Jesus exhibited extraordinary wisdom and compassion, his teachings captivating those who heard him. He spoke with authority, challenging the religious and political norms of his day, and his miracles, acts of divine power that defied human explanation, demonstrated his authority over both the natural and spiritual realms. As Jesus' ministry gained momentum, he gathered around him a group of devoted followers, ordinary men whose lives would be forever changed by their encounter with the Son of God. Among them were Peter, a fisherman whose name, meaning rock, reflected the steadfastness and leadership he would later embody as a pillar of the early church. John, known as the beloved disciple, whose name signifies the Lord is gracious, embodied the love and compassion that characterized Jesus' teachings. James, whose name means supplanter or he grasps the heel, played a prominent role in the early church, his leadership instrumental in guiding the fledgling community of believers. Paul, originally known as Saul, a name meaning asked for or desired, underwent a profound transformation on the road to Damascus. His encounter with the risen Christ leading him to become one of the most influential figures in the spread of Christianity. These disciples, initially hesitant and unsure of themselves, were transformed by Jesus' teachings and empowered by the Holy Spirit to continue his mission after his ascension to heaven. They traveled extensively, proclaiming the good news of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, their message resonating with people from all walks of life. The early church, born out of the ashes of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, faced intense persecution but spread rapidly, fueled by the Holy Spirit's power and the unwavering faith of its adherents. The disciples' teachings, rooted in Jesus' message of love, forgiveness and the hope of eternal life, offered a radical alternative to the prevailing religious and philosophical systems of their day attracting both Jews and Gentiles to the burgeoning Christian movement. The names of these early church leaders, forever etched in the annals of Christian history, serve as a testament to the transformative power of faith and the enduring legacy of those who dedicated their lives to spreading the message of Jesus Christ. From the Garden of Eden to the bustling streets of our modern world, the epic journey of biblical names continues to resonate, their echoes whispering through time, carrying profound meaning and timeless relevance. These names, often imbued with divine purpose, offer a glimpse into the hearts and destinies of those who have shaped our spiritual heritage, their stories intertwined with the very fabric of human history. As we reflect on the lives of Adam and Eve, Abraham and Sarah, Moses and Miriam, David and Solomon, Mary and Joseph, Peter and Paul, we are reminded that faith is a journey marked by both trials and triumphs, a tapestry woven with threads of courage, obedience, doubt, and unwavering trust in God's promises. The names of these biblical figures continue to inspire, challenge, and comfort us today. They serve as reminders of God's faithfulness, his love for humanity, and his desire for a world transformed by his grace. We encounter these names not only in the pages of scripture, but also in our daily lives, 
in the names we give our children, the places we visit, the art and literature that move us. They have transcended their ancient origins, becoming woven into the fabric of our collective consciousness, shaping our understanding of ourselves, our relationships, and our place in the grand narrative of creation. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, facing challenges both personal and collective, May we draw strength and wisdom from the enduring legacy of these biblical names. May their stories ignite within us a renewed passion for seeking God's guidance, for living lives marked by faith, courage and compassion, and for sharing the timeless message of hope found in the pages of scripture with a world in desperate need of transformation. The journey of faith, much like the journey of these biblical names, is an ongoing adventure, a testament to the enduring power of God's word to shape lives and impact generations to come.